So, what do you guys like to uh, do to reduce stress? You know, with uh, with work and school or work and maybe problems with your home life. I obviously like motorcycles. You want to run up on the throttle. But of course, <laughs> that brings its own dangers as far as getting in a wreck. Nobody wants to get pulled over and get a hefty ticket. Um, let's see, what else do I like to do? I like to hike, you know, the mountains and the ranges out there. Um, I've been actually on top of that mountain over there. Uh, it takes about five or six hours round trip. Uh, you can park at the base of the mountain, then you just gotta hike your way up. It's really pretty. You can see the entire Las Vegas Valley and out the state line, which I guess uh, is Prim Valley, for those of you that don't know. It's quite nice just to get outside. A little physical exertion that never hurts anybody. Definitely gets rid of, rid of a, a lot of the frustrations. Um, I have a loving fiance. Uh, whenever she's frustrated, she probably, I believe she goes to the gym or, sorry, uh, she goes to the gym. Uh, she paints and she draws. Just something to get your mind off of the constant stress of financial issues, burdens, family problems, parental divorces, getting yelled at by your bosses at work. Obviously, the less money you have, the the harder it is to find something you like to do. Some people just aren't motivated, you know. My brother had that problem for a long time. He's, he's constantly stressed, uh, had nothing to do except play video games, you know, and when you play video games, you just, I don't, I mean, I guess it's a good release, but it's not productive in any sense of the manner. You're not growing your brain, your body, your mind. I mean, some will argue that you can, you know, hand-eye coordination, but uh, that's that's subject for a different video, I suppose. But I eventually, uh, I convinced him to start mountain biking. Didn't like it doesn't like physical exertion. <laughs> he's a smaller dude and like I said, plays video games. He's not fat. I mean, he used to be fat, but he started running, you know, and that got him. He lost a lot of weight. Sorry about the traffic. I, I was going to take you this way because it's pretty, but they're doing fucking traffic. So this might be a shorter vlog than I anticipated. Uh, I, I turn him on the motorcycles, you know, because my, uh, my dad had an Acura that he wrecked and then uh, we had a cobalt that our aunt and uncle graciously bought for us. Um, and then he was taking that to uh, an eye doctor appointment because he had a cataract and lo and behold, he fucking wrecked it. So then my brother has no way of getting to his you know, college classes. I was already on my bike at the time, uh, KLX 250, well 351, uh, Supermoto. Oh, they don't have the waterfall going. What a shame. 351SF, and uh, you know, I, I would go to school on that. No big deal. I go to UNLV, which is about 30 mile round trip, 15 miles there, 15 miles back. Uh, he goes to community college, CSN, which is about, it's not about the same, maybe 25 miles round trip. And he had no way to get there, you know? <laughs> and that's fantastic. Thank God he, well, not thank God, I mean, he, he got into the accident. Uh, four days after Christmas. It was like New Year's Day and he goes and fucking wrecks our car. So now we got a car sitting in an impound lot. My brother has no way to get to school. Uh, I have my fiance's dual sport in my garage, XT225 I bought her. We used to ride together. We almost got hit, uh, so she quit riding. But that's, once again, for another vlog. And um, I told him the cheapest way to do it is go get your endorsement, go to a Harley dealer. You know, I have a bike here for you. Get your endorsement, get your license, get insured, and uh, tough it out. You're going to have to get to school, you know. It's kind of scary for a new rider, obviously. You know, usually you have a couple weeks to practice and get used to the road, but I man, he had like 10 days, maybe 10 days to get his license and start riding to school. But, now he loves it, you know, and that's what he does for stress reliever, like many of us that ride. Just something about it. The wind, the acceleration, the sound, maybe the danger, you know, because it is dangerous. It's 
definitely, you know, affordable. I mean, I got five bikes in my garage. I make seven twenty-five an hour. I've only been working a year. I have five bikes in my garage, you know. And the first two, three I picked up, I picked up without having uh, any sort of income. You know, but we'll say maybe five hundred dollars for your gear. You know, decent gear. Uh, you can probably get away fifteen hundred dollars for a good dual sport. You know, an XC two two five DR two hundred CRF two thirty L something, you know, or even an old Ninja 250, or a Rebel 250, or my brother's bike that he went and bought after the XC225, 1300 bucks for a Virago 250 2001 with 4,000 miles on it, you know, people ride them, they say it's not powerful enough, and then they want to sell them and get as much as they can, um, I mean, you're looking at maybe $2,500 investment between gear, bike, and all that. And you're looking at, you know, full coverage. I pay $200 a year before I got this uh, V-Strom here. Now I pay $600 a year. I mean, come on. That's that's so much more affordable. You know, get some. T I have tires. That I, just, I, I usually get tires that last 10,000 miles because I commute, you know. I don't want a tire that burns out 3,000 miles. Um, all my bikes get upwards of 50 miles to the gallon. I just, I can't afford a car. 725 an hour, I can't do it. I can't afford $200 a month for a car, not including insurance. It just doesn't work. You know, but uh, yeah. I guess I'm starting to ramble on here. Uh, what do you guys do to relieve your stress? Seeing as I only have like 30 some subscribers, there's probably not going to be a lot of answering, but you never know. Just getting the question out there. Uh, yeah, so until next time.